patchy notes are up and i am a bit late we'll be going through some of the important bits only like the update is coming on 24th of july for all the region and if we go take a look at the codex we have risk and rarely limited time event season 29 battle pass revenant market returning event feature update regional specific game edition the first one is the risk and rally limited time event this is for the dungeons you can now try and do dungeons as quick as possible and try to be in top uh, one to three or you can try to be in uh, top four to uh, 15 for some good rewards and top 16 to 100 will get some decent rewards as well every 12 hour there will be a new dungeon for you to speed one that include the Cavern of Echo, Forgotten Tower, Mad King Breach, Temper of Namari, Tomb of Fahir, or the Tristam Dungeon. And uh, like I said, every 12 hour leaderboard will grant you some rewards here. These will be the rewards. And if you are mighty enough to place on the Risk and Rally leaderboard, you will receive Demon Dash, 30 Days, Arcane Nimbus, Aura, Cosmetic, 5 Legendary Items, 4 Legendary Crest, 100k Gold, some dust and scrap and this is for top one and three like i said and for top four and five you will get the nimbus aura for 14 days you will get one legendary crest some gold and some dust and scrap some legendary items and for top 16 to 100 you only getting nimbus for seven days and legendary items legendary crest and if we go down we have our first look at the new battle pass 29 let's check it out barbarian wizard tempest monk demon hunter crusader uh, that was uh, necromancer and at the end it was the blood knight so there we go uh the battle pass 29 which will be starting from august 1 and if we go down revenant market this is basically bringing back some of the older phantom market cosmetic if you have not obtained them you can now get those and if you already have these two cosmetics then it will be available for the blood knight and the tempest as well and you will get an option of choosing between which one uh, you want when you will be uh, using your returner orb converting that for the obols and going for this event and as for the returning event it is fractured plane coming back conqueror is coming back hungering moon is coming back wild blower is coming back shady star coming back and then we have some feature update for the uh, pvp so if anyone has now cheat that skill active you will see the silver bar around their hp it is going to make it easier to target your enemies uh, if someone doesn't have the silver bar it will be much easier to kill them so uh, it will also uh, shows if they have the severe skill active or class skills such as barbarian undying rage is active phoenix ashes five star gem or cheat that from the Paragon uh, tree so a good way to see if enemy has any active cheat that and this will also work for our character here your health bar will display with a silver frame around it so good way to see your enemies and yourself if you have this active and then they are placing a new blacksmith uh, just around the part of the blood dungeon it will be a lot easier to salvage the items when you are doing part of blood and then Kaiser Erban can now also drop the monster's essences from opening chest and in the battleground the spawn time for the defenders is going to change depending on how close the attackers are to pushing the idols and winning so we shall see how this will affect and then some changes to the paragon tree paragon specialization can now be activated from the central node of the tree your last set of the activity skill with each specialization will be remember making it more convenient to switch 
specialization and then for the armory optimization now you can save different reforge loadout for your different build this is going to be very useful for having different builds for the pvp and then different for pve will be using it myself and then some automatic navigation when you are using that you can use dash skills like the wizard teleport and some of the other skills and it will not interrupt the navigation and then they are changing how the casket work for the tempers internal cooldown between the trigger waves increase from 0.5 second to one second but damage is also increased by 100 percent so it is not enough but they are increasing the interval between how fast this skill trigger and then heliquary changes when you kill a heliquary boss the chest will automatically open and then region specific game edition i'm not sure why this is not coming for the global version as well barbarian cosmetic can be seen when barbarian is in wrath wrath of the berserker form i think a lot of players would like to see their phantom market cosmetic when they are raging out but anyhow that is all i'm excited for the first event here that is going to be risk and rally limited time event i'm looking forward to some leaderboard speed run we'll see if can get into top 15 will be interesting but that is all for the uh this minor update i'm signing off and see you all in the next one later guys